Today we're making Jamie Oliver's perfect roast potatoes. If you guys are a fan of roast potatoes, this is a recipe and video to watch. You guys are gonna love it. Let's get right to it. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for dropping by to yet another Food With Adult video. Now, if you are brand new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on those notification bells will notify you every time I upload a new video, which you won't want to miss. Now that we've got all of the pleasantries out of the way, perfect roast potatoes coming up. So as Jamie Oliver says, the perfect buddy for your roast potatoes is the Maris Piper. Quite easy to find in almost any supermarket. I got these from a local Asda store. Um, if you guys go to any other supermarket, I'm sure you can find them in there. And we're gonna parboil these for about 10 to 15 minutes so we can get a fork kind of nicely through them, but not right through the center. We want a bit of resistance in there because we don't want them to fall apart. I've got them on the gas right now. Let's take a look. So a nice, generous pinch of salt. You don't need to really mix it, it's just gonna Kind of dissolve in there and do its magic and uh, we're gonna wait for that for the next 10-15 minutes and hopefully that should be ready in the next 10-15 minutes we'll take them out give it a try and then we'll chuck them into our baking dish or roasting dish and follow Jamie Oliver's steps to make the perfect roast potatoes my friends so these potatoes have been in there for the last 15 minutes since I put them in the cold water we're going to take these off the gas and um, put them through a colander, drain them out. And in the meantime, while those are draining out, we are going to prep our roasting dish here, which we're gonna add all the rosemary and the garlic and all that good stuff. Let's get this off, turn the gas off as well. Just be careful when you're pouring this away, the steam will come back and burn your face off, like it almost did to me. And like Jamie Oliver says, uh, when once in the colander, just chuck them around so we can just fluff up the edges a bit. Just rough them up. So those are gonna sit there drain for, uh, for the meantime. Let's get to our roasting pan. So in the meantime, my oven is getting ready at 190 degrees Celsius. And in this roasting dish, we're going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil. And to this, we're going to add beautiful rosemary. You can add how much ever you like or whatever you like. This is just going to give a beautiful aroma. Like he says, just chucking whole cloves of garlic with the skin on, as that will protect the garlic inside and prevent it from burning one. And second, the flavors will just infuse in there really nice and slow. A few drizzles of apple cider vinegar, just for that extra tanginess and kick that you get from the vinegar. Now it's not too much, so it's not gonna overpower anything and that will cook away, but it'll just give it that extra kick that these roast potatoes will need. Once the potatoes are nicely drained off and you've got a beautiful fluffy texture like that, just pour them away in there. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to this a beautiful pinch of black pepper. And we're just gonna toss all, everything in there, just mix it all up, we get all the flavors mix. Get the potatoes covered in the oil, in the rosemary, the garlic, everything just infused one another. Shake your tray, just get everything leveled up. Spread them out. Now these will go in the oven for about 55 to 60 minutes, but around 40 minutes, we're going to take these out and mash these a bit so we're going to squash them down like Jamie Oliver does to get that extra crispiness. Let's get these in the oven. Now it's been in the oven for about 40 minutes on gas mark five, um, but it hasn't got the color that I really wanted it to have. So I'm gonna up the gas once I've squashed these down a little uh, to gas mark because it's between seven and eight, which is about 200 degrees. And we're just gonna, well, I don't have potato or masher kind of thing. So I'm just gonna, Kind of press down slowly so it I mean there is a bit of crunch in there I can definitely hear it and this goes back in the oven and um, this time I've got it on 200 degrees just to get that extra color on there 
and make them super crispy and fluffy from the middle. Let's get this back in the oven. About 15, 20 minutes later, beautiful golden crispy roast potato. You can hear it sizzling away and if you actually move this, you can hear how crisp everything is. That looks absolutely wonderful. We're gonna plate this up and absolutely dig into it because, oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So here they are my friends, perfect golden roast potatoes by Jamie Oliver. And you can see the garlic in there. If anybody likes the garlic, they can have the garlic. The rosemary's fragrance is infused throughout the potatoes and wow, these are super crunchy from the outside. Oh, God, this way too oh, we're gonna have to try this right now. Like, seriously. Oh, ha ha. Just look how fluffy that is from the inside. Oh, super hot, oh, super delicious. Like, that is delicious golden roast potatoes. Thank you, Jamie Oliver, for providing us this recipe. Now, it doesn't mean you have to do exactly as this recipe says. The best thing about cooking food is you can add, mix and match whatever you like. So if you don't like the garlic, you can take the garlic out. If you don't like the rosemary, you can take the rosemary out. You can make this however you like. There's no rules abiding you to make it exactly this way. This is just a basic concept for you guys that Jamie Oliver's provided and I've tried it and I think his recipe works fine. If I was to do a bit different, I would add some vegetables in there, probably put some onion in there, get that sweetness going. There's, a, there's 101 million things you can do to this to make it better than it already is. And, but for this video, we're just trying out his recipe and it's beautiful. Um, I think it's just lacking, um, it's lacking that kick uh, of flavor. Um, so I would give it an eight out of 10, but absolutely solid flavor from the garlic and rosemary, the fragrance. But for me, I like mine, a bit of oomph in there, maybe a bit of paprika, cinnamon on there that would give it some extra flavor. But that's it from today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Here's what I think series. Um, if you enjoy this series and like this video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay safe, be kind to one another. I'll catch you all in the next video. By the way, his links will be down below to this video. Asalaamu Alaikum.